Hello guys, this is Julian Cirello, CEO of B Game. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this quick video we've put together for you. I know how valuable your time is, so I'd like to cut to the chase and explain to you how B Game works and how it can help you minimizing the time of search and integration of music and sound effects into video games. The first important thing we need to know is why B Game exists. What's our goal? B Game stands for Video Game Audio and Music Elements. Our goal is to facilitate the integration of sound and music into video games, utilizing standard industry practices. The first step we had to take to achieve our goal was to get enough music and sound effects to play with. Thus, we started by creating a music and sound effects library made up of music composers and sound designers from all around the world. Now, B-Game is not the typical music and sound effects library. Why? Well. We wanted to achieve excellence from the beginning. So, combining our love and experience working with music and video games, we came to the conclusion that in order to give all video game programmers and designers the best chance to get their hands on great music and sound effects assets for their video games, we needed to organize and curate the music and sound effects into video game categories that they understand. This, in turn, will give them the chance to search for music that can be suitable to the type of video game they are working on, instead of having to search for music and sound that's organized by categories that are part of film or TV genres. Give them a playback in which they can listen to the music and sound effects they are looking for without having to open several tabs. This happens in other marketplaces that, on top of what I've just explained, they don't curate their assets don't have enough metadata to organize the sounds by video game categories and subcategories, and they don't offer enough filters to narrow down the search and be able to find specifically what you are looking for without having to spend lots of time and energy searching through their entire catalog. Gathering as much information as possible for each asset we receive has given us the chance to integrate to our website a powerful search engine to take advantage of while searching for the perfect track. All of these enable people that's not an expert in music composition or sound design to enhance the game experience of their video games. And for music and sound design experts, B-Game offers them the chance to get the best out of our music and sound effects library by putting at their disposal different versions of the same music theme, such as the constructed narratives, drum and bass, loops, stingers and bumpers, stems, and a very detailed description of each music asset that includes music key and mode, keywords, level of intensity, and more. We offer only the best music and sound effects within a wide range of price. Could you imagine scoring your video game with music from a Grammy or Gang Award winner? Well, there is no need to keep imagining it, because this is now something possible through B-Game. And because of our marketplace model, which is author-driven pricing, our price range is so wide that we can almost guarantee you that you could find something that can meet your pocket and sound expectations with our tracks starting at $3. All high-end quality and suitable for video games. B-Game is your one-stop shop for all game sounds curated specifically for video games. But let's not just talk about B-Game, let's test it. Go ahead and score a video game in just a few minutes. We will take our preferred game engine here, Buildbox, and start by choosing a game template. In this case, we're going to choose a draw template. This is how it looks like and how it feels to play it. First time I played this game, I felt a little clumsy, so I'm thinking of searching for something that can match that kind of feeling. Let's go ahead and use VGame to find the perfect music and sound effects for this game. I'm going to type in the following keywords that match the mood and instruments of what I'm looking for into our search engine. Playtime, silly, sneaky, quirky, orchestra, and comical. As you can see, we have some results that, judging by the title, not only match perfectly with the keywords we used, but also display different available versions of the same track before I narrow down my search even more, let's listen to one or two tracks from this list. B game. B game. B game. B 
Although these tracks are great, I like to narrow down my search and use our video game categories here. I'll select Kids as a main category and Arcade and Puzzle as a subcategory. I'm also going to ask the system to search for something that's mid-tempo. Our results have changed, and now I'm going to try different tracks from this list. On page 2, I found a track that matches the feeling that I want to give to our game. Let's take a listen to it. Now, because of its title that is specifying this is a 30 seconds version, I'd like to search for this particular piece and listen to other available versions. I'll download the full version and one stinger for our game. And for the sound effects, I'd like to have one for when I get a point, one for when I get a key, another one for when the game first starts and the ball shows up, and for when it crashes into the wall. For this purpose, I'm going to use the same process that I used to find the music. Type in the words coin and beep in our keywords field, select the sound effects category and choose from one of these options. Then, I'm going to look up for the sound that triggers when the ball first shows up. So I'm going to type in the word power up and again, choose from one of these options. And finally, I'm going to search for a sound effect for when the ball crashes into the wall. I've already downloaded the assets that I like the most, and here we have them all prepared to integrate into our game. Let's take a quick listen to them. Watch carefully loop 1 for the select menu. Watch carefully loop 2 for the actual game. Stinger for when the game ends and sound effects for point, key, crash into the wall and ball animation. Next, we are going to go ahead and integrate these sounds into our game. On our mind map, I'll drag and drop our music to our start UI module, which is the main menu. I'm also going to drag and drop the music for the actual game and for when the game is over in their respective UIs and give it a try. Music is done, and now I would like to integrate the sound effects for the points, key, crash, and ball animation. Going back to our 3D world, I'm going to select the green dot and add a sound module from the content menu. I'll enable the sound to the if collide module and drag and drop our sound effects for this purpose. Again, going back to our 3D world, now I'm going to select the key object and do the same as I did with the point. And now, let's give it a try. Great! The only sounds missing are for when the ball first appears and for when it crashes. So, I'm going to select the ball, create a sound module, and link it to the start created module, and drag and drop our sound effects for this purpose. I'll also add another sound module and link it to the if collide function. Drag and drop our sound effects, and we are done. Let's give it a try and see how it feels like to play it.
Now, as you can see in here, we have enhanced the gameplay experience. And even though this is a game template, playing it now feels much better and entertaining. This is how important music is for video games. Today, Vgame offers to its users the opportunity to get their hands on great music assets and experience video game composers and sound designers. Choose from over 6,000 tracks and sound effects starting at $3 and take advantage of a powerful search engine while searching for the perfect track. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the first glimpse of the endless music and sound possibilities you can achieve through Vgame. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials like this.